Hello everybody. Now that we are done with doing the univariate analysis for these specific variables which where we chose amount variables specifically. Now let's go ahead and start with doing the bivariate analysis and that we will perform again on the numeric variables. So let's just have a look at the data first. Let's call it numdata.h and let's have a look at the variables what are the variables that we can use for our bivariate analysis so if you see over here this is id variable which has not which doesn't have much scenes then the target variable this is simply flagging which customer is the defaulter and which one is non-defaulter then here we have count of children by each of the applicants then amount income amount credit amount annuity amount goods price etc 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 all right so let's start with amount variable again right we will uh, do the bivariate start the bivariate analysis with uh, you know amount variables itself so what does bivariate analysis means that means over here we are trying to find the relation between two variables we are doing the analysis basis on the two variables means let's say we will use amount income and amount credit and basis on these two variables we will figure out what is the relation and how they are influencing to the default behavior okay whether the customer is going to be defaulter or non-defaulter so to do this kind of analysis we can use scatter plot pair plot etc let's start with a simple example where we will be using a scatter plot let's say sns dot scatter plot and okay let's just first pick out the or or maybe let's just take out all the data that's all right sns dot scatter plot and in that data equals to i'm going to use num data num data and on x-axis on x-axis i will be using look amount credit and amount good price goods price will always be correlated okay let me show you a glimpse of it okay so here amount credit and on y-axis you're gonna put amount goods price and then i will use hue parameter and here i will use the target variable just to see the influence on this particular thing right so here what i'm expecting is we will have a perfect linear correlation rather i can say right because see if you if your goods price is higher and if you're getting a loan of course along with the good price goods price your amount credit will also increase right because let's say if you are buying a loan of buy, buying a car of 1 million rupee right then of course you would require somewhere you would be getting a finance of somewhere eighty thousand eight or something like that or let's say if you um something around that okay so that's how you know the that like, like you can see here you have a linear relation between both of these two variables because like i said if you are buying a costlier product you are tend to get the cost uh, more you know if you're getting a loan the loan amount will be more than the one where, uh, where the goods price is less that's pretty obvious all right so over here the conclusion which we get over here is in bivariate analysis let me just write it down over here i will say bivariate analysis please ignore if i just make some spelling mistake if i do some typo mistake because here we are majorly going to be focused on our analysis all right so we can say that amount credit and amount goods price are correlated linearly nearly correlated correlated all right and the second point if you see if the customers are taking loan of less than 1.5 million they have 
the, the in this segment we are getting many of the defaulters this orange points if you see most of the defaulters are in the segment of you know this less than 1 million wherever amount credit is less than 1 million over there we have mostly most of the defaulters okay if the amount increases the defaulters are also decreasing along with that okay and amount goods price of course like we observe that amount goods price and amount credit is linearly related right so this is our observation okay if you want you can write down that if the amount credit credit increases increases the defaulters are decreasing all right but that doesn't mean that uh, we can start giving the more amount to the customers of course that will depend on the you know income and all those things right basis on that we cannot make the conclusion that let's give the more amount okay so let's try to have a look or uh, try to find a correlation with amount income as well okay uh, not correlation but the bivariate analysis rather we can say so here we will be trying to figure out how does the amount credit uh, how uh, i mean what sort of loans loan amount are given to which income segment okay let's just see so if you see over here just let's just give it few minutes All right, so if you see over here, let's have a close look. So this is the amount credit, okay? And this is the income. So if you see incomes, income, wherever income is more than a million, the people are not taking the loan, which is quite, um, I mean, loans loans are not given. They, they have not been given the loan, which could be quite possible if someone is earning uh, more than a million, why would they go for the this kind of loans consumer loans right of course there will there could be certain exceptions but mostly like you can see the analysis okay so what we conclude is the people who are earning less than a million are most likely to take the loan now what segment of that are likely to be defaulter so the people who are earning less than a million and if they are taking a loan of less than 1.5 there could be uh, i mean there could be possibility that some of them will turn out to be defaulter because after 1.5 almost you have nothing uh, almost there are no defaulters all right so this is what we conclude okay let's just write so the uh, people oops people having income less than less than than or equals to equals to a million one million are more likely to take loans out of which out of which who are taking loan of less than 1.5 million could turn out turn out to be defaulters okay so people who are earning less than a million and if they are taking the loan of more than 1.5 they are less likely to be defaulters. so this is our segment which we can target okay so what we can target is we can target income below a million one million and loan amount amount greater than greater than 1.5 million of course other factors will also matter like whether they have their own house how many number of children do they have okay so those all things will also matter let's try to put you know count of children over here and try to do the bivariate analysis okay 
let me just put it over here and let's just see what sort of loan they are getting okay how much amount are they going to get scatter plot because the data is huge that's why it is taking a lot of time okay all right so what we observe over here is you see here the here the number of children are zero and you see most of the defaulters are falling in this segment so what we can say is people who have no children and if they are taking a loan of less than 1.5 they can turn out to be irresponsible right they can turn out to be irresponsible and uh, they can turn out to be defaulter also right so that's how they can turn out to be defaulter so we can say people having zero children are safe to give uh, and if they are taking a loan of means of course depending on their eligibility if they are taking a loan of more than or uh, equals to 1.5 million they are safer segment okay other than that if the people have children more than zero and less than five if you see more than zero and less than five people having five or more than that children they are turning out to be defaulter you see over here over here this is disastrous okay then over here also they have more default there are more defaulters so what we can see is people having children one to less than five right between one to five people having children one to less than five less than five of course we can say let's call it less than five are safe to give the loan are safer to give the loan right because see if they have the kids they will be kind of responsible right uh, rather i would say the more most safest you know uh, safest segment is one two i can say uh, 2.5 and then this will be three one to three right you can say that so when the people get children they become more responsible right so they will pay the loans on time and they will not default so that they want to have their good civil score and everything so that they could get the loan whenever they need of course if they have family and children they are more responsible and they might require finance financial support at any point of time that's why they become cautious right so that's what we conclude out of it so you see how we are performing the bivariate analysis so this is something which we are doing one by one there is a way you can use to do it all at once for that let's just pick the amount variables uh, I mean I'm just going to perform that on all the amount variables from here I'll just pick it and let me just say amount where and over here what I'll do is I'll just say num data num data all right and out of that we will pick this oops this just bear with me while i'm making it suitable enough it looks like i make made some mistake over here and then it comes over here all right and there is one more variable which i would like to include and that's gonna be target variable okay so this is done there seem to be some problem i just need to use double square bracket and here we go okay so we got this data now let's just plot this sns pair plot and into that we are going to use data equals to amount var amount var all right and then we are going to use you know hue equals to target let's just see what happens all right so here we got our pair plot right so many of the things which we have already you know um, observed or analyzed let's uh, let's focus on each of them try to find out the most valuable one okay 
so if you see this particular row is representing to amount total income and this particular column is rep representing to amount credit so for example if you see this and it is this particular plot this is the intersection of amount credit and amount good price which we previously discussed of course that would of course have the uh, linear re uh, linear relation okay now let's have a look at amount annuity and amount credit okay so the people who are uh, so see where do we have the density so the most densed area is this one so the people who have who are capable of paying annuity amount annuity of 100,000 you see here this they are getting the loan of somewhere less than equals to 2 million okay so people who can pay the amount annuity of 100,000 right 100,000 they can get the amount credit of somewhere approximately 2 million right and defaulters are also in the same segment but still that's some that's the highly densed area where the people have taken the loan of course in some of the cases in some of the cases along with amount annuity amount credit is also increasing right like you see if you if the customer is able to make more amount annuity they can get more you know uh, amount credit which is quite obvious right if you are able to pay more emi you can get more credit okay that's that's one thing okay then over here if you see amount annuity so again um, amount good price so this is highly related to amount co amount credit so the both of these graph will look identical okay so like you can see over here hmm? this amount income relation we have already observed and uh, then again this comes amount credit i think we are we have already observed all this uh, plots right but this is the way you can uh, you can and do the bivariate analysis for multiple variables at the same time now here what we observed is let's write it down people who have people who are earning people who can make the who can pay the annuity who can pay the annuity of annuity of 100k are more likely to get the loan and that that's up to up to less than 2 million less than 2 million the safer segment okay we will call it the safer segment safer segment similarly there are many other numeric variables of course we cannot cover all of them as of now otherwise the video will be too long and you will be bored and you will stop watching it okay but my purpose is to give you the idea and give you the confidence how you can start uh, how you can do the exploratory data analysis you see how we are doing it and how we are making the inferences out of it same way i encourage you to go ahead and do the bivariate analysis with uh, you know we we just did it with the children count i would say just go ahead and do it with uh, age variable basis on days birth we had created some categorical variables age grouping right so i would say just go ahead and try that is variable days employed basis on days employed you you should try that right and you should try to find the uh, uh, relation between uh, you know couple of the variables right and write down your inferences whatever you write down just put that into the comment section so that uh, i will also learn right there is high possibility that uh, there could be something more important which i am missing but yeah just go ahead and do all those analysis and put that into the comment section i will definitely have a look and i would learn from that and i would reply on that okay this is let's keep this video to this topic only in the next one what we will do is we will try to merge the previous application data and do the further analysis thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good